Hi, my name is Jay Marsh. I work for Innovega Incorporated in San Diego, California. And what we are offering as a solution to the near eye mounted displays is an opportunity to have a very immersive experience, a high definition, high pixel count, large field of view solution that nobody else can offer. And we have achieved this solution by sort of tricking the way your eye sees the world by adding a contact lens with a small lenslet in the center of it. That lenslet carries a one millimeter optic that is just a small bump in the center but gives you a 20 millimeter focal length and that allows you the ability to now see your display that's mounted in your eyewear. By bringing the display this close to your eye you're capable of having a high resolution easy to view large field of view display. The, the possibilities of content become endless as you can now put more than one application into your eyewear experience rather than as Google a single experience. And um, can you name a few of the applications that you see this working for, or working in? Um, so we see industrial and consumer applications. Um, we know that people are very interested in their social media and their text messaging, and we see that as a consumer space. We also see surgical applications, industrial applications for mechanics and technicians. We also see military and police applications where they can overlay in an augmented reality way the content that's meaningful for their particular tasks. Perfect. And you've got a demo going on behind us? So yes, can we you do. Can kind of explain what's going on there? In the demo, my colleague Arthur has put on one of our contact lenses and he has set himself up where his laptop's camera is able to see playing cards and he is not looking at the card, looking at the display, or looking anywhere in the place where he could see them. When, when our, um, I don't know who they are, whenever somebody holds a card up in front of the display, he can actually see it relayed into his eyewear. By having it in his eyewear, he can now play the game of naming the card while not being able to see the card directly. I, I'll have uh, the webcam on, on my laptop and this is the in actual information that's being displayed onto my eyewear. And so you can see that and that's also being displayed on the eyewear at the same time. So you can see what I'm seeing, right? Very cool. What we're going to do is I'm going to put these glasses on. Normally people would not be able to see that when they put on the glasses, but I have a special pair of contact lenses that I'm wearing that enable me to see that display. And so you're going to be holding up a card and I'm going to be able to read that card to you even though I'm not looking directly at your card. So we will do that. So now I am looking at the display, and you can choose any card you want, and show it to your camera audience, and I can tell you that that's a nine of diamonds. You want to do that again? Try another different card? That's a tennis base. So we are currently at the at the prototype stage where we have developed two different working models. One is a augmented reality 2i system capable of 3D and a 90 degree field of view. Our other system is a glanceable reference display at a 40 degree field of view. Both of those are in a working mode but they are not ready for consumers. We expect FDA approval on our contact lenses in about a year and a half and we expect consumer products to be shortly following that. And what kind of price point would we be looking at for something like this? I don't have a price point for the military applications, but for the consumer product, we're expecting it somewhere less than $1,000. Okay.